This video is brought to you by WP Forms. Contact form plugins are super important for your website. Whether you're trying to increase your leads or automate your business processes, a contact form can do that. And since it's such an important business aspect for your website, I spoke with Syed Balki, who is the founder and CEO of WP Beginner, as well as several different plugins, including WP Forms. And I specifically asked him which contact form plugin did he think was best for anyone to use on their site. Now make sure you stick around to watch the whole thing because he even goes into detail on which one plugin you absolutely want to avoid. So let's dive in. You know, if you'd asked me this question four or five years ago, because this is a question that gets asked all the time because of the important role that contact forms play, um, you know, from just simple contact form to lead forms to request a quote forms to surveys and all that. And I didn't really have a clear answer. Um, and to solve that, I kind of made one. But when you look at the market, right, there's a lot of uh, form plugins. You have WP Forms, right? Um, you have Gravity Forms. You got Contact Form Seven. You have Ninja Forms. You have Formidable Forms, and and there's like the list goes on. There's like literally hundreds of them in in the WordPress ecosystem. Then you look at the SaaS market and you have solutions like Google Forms and Wufu and Typeform and Formstack and SurveyMonkey. And, you know, this is just scratching the surface. So there's a lot of different form solutions out there. And the, the reason for that is because there's just so many different use cases, different people have different needs. And um, there isn't a clear choice for every single use case. But I would say that there is a choice, de facto choice choice for a lot of different use cases. And for me, it's WP Forms. Um, and I, because I had it built for everything that we needed to grow our business at WP Beginner and our suite of products, um, and also a lot of our clients, um, because it just gives you the best of everything for business focused forms. And really what I, what I wanted to do was I wanted to create something that was easy and also something that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So I combined a lot of the features of the SaaS players that I like. So I took the conversational forms from Typeform and brought it into WordPress and just made it bundled in with WP Forms. Took the form landing page from Google Forms and brought it in uh, into WP Forms. Took the best abilities of surveys from SurveyMonkey and brought it into WP Forms. If you wanted to create a poll, which previously you would use as a SurveyMonkey or Poll Daddy in uh, those platforms, now it's in WP Forms and, and took the, you know, smart form abandonment, other conversion and optimization tools, the beautiful form templates and easy to use form templates and just brought it all in into one solution, one under one hood. And that's what WP Forms is. And it's the fastest growing form solution now. And I launched it about three years ago or so and it's running on over 2 million websites now. Um, so it's, it's a testament that what we built is really good. But with that said, WB Form is not an end-all, be-all uh, solution in the market. Like, I still have to, you know, put my unbiased hat on, right? As, as the founder of WP Beginner, where we evaluate all the best solutions in the market to help you guys, the readers, you know, and educate you in um, all the different options that exist. So with that said, I have to look at all the different solutions in the market. So, you know, my second pick is Formidable Forms. Why? Because it offers all the advanced form features that developers would like, agencies would like, and sometimes more, you know, complex use cases require. For example, if you are a, uh, if you're looking for a mortgage calculator, anything like calculations related, for that, Formidable is the best solution in the market, formidableforms.com. Um, it has calculations built in, views built in, um, tons of integrations, and, and really, really sophisticated functionalities. They call them form action. Uh, really cool. So basically, if you took, let's say, what used to be market leader at one point, Gravity Forms, and you combine several of their top third-party extensions that you had to pay separately for, um, you combine all at one price, that's formidable forms. So it, in my opinion, that's hands down the most advanced form builder in the market. And then you have WP Forms, which is the most beginner-friendly, user-friendly, business-friendly form solution in the market. Like when, when I'm looking at the WordPress form market, there are only really two providers I ever consider. Um, one is WPForms.com. I built that for my own needs, for other business and marketing, marketing needs, and then formidable forms, which is all everything a developer would need to build an advanced solution. Um, and then... Of course, like while there's tons of great solutions in the market, I would absolutely avoid Contact Form 7. It's, yeah. it's the most popular one because it was the oldest one. It's been around for long, but that plugin hasn't changed. Um, it's, it looks dated. Uh, it's, just, it's just clunky. You know, I think, I think as a user, you guys deserve better. So pick anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> That's very well put. Thank you. 
Yeah, so forms, since they're so important, but a lot of times people don't quite know what to use them for. So let's kind of go over some use cases that these forms plugins would be good for. So let's say, let's talk about just a, a regular contact form plugin. Who would you recommend? In that case, you just use a free version of WP Forms. It's plenty um, good. You can upgrade to the pro version to unlock more features, but for a contact form, WP Forms hands down is the best one. Yeah, that's perfect. And then what about if someone needs to add a survey to their website? Um, then you have several different options. Um, again, if you're using WP Forms Pro version, then you got um, then you have surveys uh, already built in and and all the things in there with conversational form add-on. You can which is, comes part of the same you know feature le feature plan level. Um, it works. But the other solutions that I actually used to use before WP Forms uh, was SurveyMonkey. It's one of the, it's a market leader for surveys um, for advanced surveys. It's really, really good. Um, I mean, the company's worth like is valued at a billion dollars, right? So they've been around forever. So like that's another one of my reliable choice um, after the forms now is SurveyMonkey if you have the budget for it, um, and also Typeform if you have the budget for it um, are really good standalone solutions that you can use outside of WordPress. But if you're looking for best WordPress survey plugin, then WP Forms. Great. And then say for a lot of companies who want to start taking payments on their website. Is there a plugin that you would recommend for them to be able to do that? Yeah, so honestly, I won't use any form plugin to uh, to accept payments on a large scale. So let's say you know if if like, you need to really think about what you're accepting the payments for. If if it if this is a simple order form, let's say you just have one service and you're you know you just want to collect the retainer payments or one-off things, um, you can use WP forms. You can use the formidable forms, but, uh, and you know, this works for not like nonprofit. If you're collecting donations, you can use WP forms or formidable forms and that works perfectly. But if you want to start selling like multiple different items and kind of like have an online store, I think you're better off looking into uh, WooCommerce, a proper e-commerce solution, um, and not pigeonhole you, hold yourself. I know there's some form solutions in the market that have added e-commerce, like fully, you know, like a lot of e-commerce functionalities to it, but understand that they were form plugins first and e-commerce later. So no matter how much they try, they're just not going to be able to fulfill all you need. And the, more, the deeper you get in, the more pigeonholed you will be. So for simple, you know, order forms, yes, use a form plugin like a WP form or Formidable, and they will integrate, you know, with Stripe and PayPal so you can do credit card and all that. Um, but otherwise, you really want to start thinking about, you um, more advanced payment plugins like WooCommerce. That's that's a separate thing. And we can do a, you know another video on that, by the way. Yeah, like definitely. For we'll payment show them plugins. Yeah. That. And so the next one is what about calculators? If people want to have or create a calculator form on their website, which one would you recommend for that? Um, yes, calculations, uh, in my opinion, are advanced forms. Um, Formidable Forms does, does a really good job at it. They also have pre-made templates. It's like mortgage calculator, BMI calculator. You can pretty much, if you have a formula for to calculate something, you can create a form with Formidable um, for that. Uh, so, so like that's really good. I think Formidable Forms hands down in the market for calculation forms. There's also another one called Calculated Fields, but I still go with Formidable Forms. So now let's talk about a company who needs to automate their workflow or even take their paper workflow that they might have in their office and automate that and bring it into the digital world. What type of form plugin would you recommend to allow them to automate their digital workflow? Yeah, so one thing that I would do in that scenario, and this is general advice in any business scenario, is that you try to keep it stupid simple. Okay, don't like as a small business, you don't have a lot of development resources. So don't try to have your dev team try to build you something custom. Um, for me, the best thing that happened to the internet was Zapier. Um, and it's pronounced Zapier, not Zapier. They told me that. <laughs> we're, we're a big user of Zapier itself. What it does, it allows you to connect any one app with another app. So if, you if you're looking to create a workflow, let's say somebody emails, um, email, like contacts you on your website, let's say through WP Forms, they, we have, they have a Zapier integration. So you can say when somebody you know, fills out this form, put, you know, forward this information to our sales team, add it into our HubSpot CRM or another CRM provider that you're using. And if you're not using a CRM, you can add it into your Google spreadsheet. Um, so Zapier literally connects with any platform. I believe like over a thousand different connections. Um, so 
to building workflows, you want to use a form solution that integrates with Zapier and just about every single form plugin, any good one in the market will integrate with it. So that one, one criteria to determine that is this form plugin good or not is how good their Zapier integration is. Do they have one? Then, then that means they, they are true and tested form solutions. So if you, any one of the form plugins that I mentioned in this video, whether it be WP Forms, whether it be Formidable Forms, whether it be SurveyMonkey, Typeform, um, et cetera, have a Zapier integration to build smart workflows because that's what it's all about, right? Now that you know what contact forms can do for your business, check out WP Forms for yourself and see how it can transform your website. Just head over to wpforms.com forward slash WP Beginner to get started. And make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get 50% off WP Forms. And thanks for watching.